Imagine going home to sleep, but you have no house. If you're lucky, you might have a tent or maybe a piece of cardboard to lay on where owning a blanket is a luxury. You lay down freezing to death. Your body shakes because you're so cold and hungry. You couldn't eat today because there was no place open to feed you. You wake up the next morning with your only goal to find some place warm and hoping for something to eat. Sounds like the beginning of a third world country story, doesn't it? Welcome to Eagle Butte, South Dakota. Population 1,350 people. A beacon of civilization that is 100 miles from nowhere. Eagle Butte is located on the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation and located in one of the poorest counties in the United States, right here in South Dakota. Unemployment is high and the number of people homeless in this community is staggering. People can go days without eating. With inadequate shelters, people find themselves sleeping outdoors in minus 20 degree weather during the cold winter months. Some have even died from exposure while sleeping outdoors. Eagle Butte is 100 miles from Pierce, South Dakota, the closest place that represents a small city. Eagle Butte is 300 miles from the state's major metropolitan city of Sioux Falls, yet it serves as a center for the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation, an area covering more than 4,000 square miles of northern South Dakota. Our society looks anxiously over the distant horizon to help others in need half a world away, yet we ignore people in our own backyard who go hungry or are looking for a safe place to sleep. In urban cities, there are shelters, missions, and homes supported by the larger community. In larger cities, there are simply more resources available to the homeless and hungry than there are in rural areas. People of all races find their way to Eagle Butte, looking for food, shelter, community, desperate for a sustainable way of life. Too often, the outside world's view of life on the reservation is clouded. We think the tribes are funded with an abundance of money from the federal government. Natives are given monthly checks to live on. Housing is free for those who are living on the reservation. Life is grand, right? That simply couldn't be any further from the truth. Unemployment runs 80% or higher. Many communities are without adequate water systems. It is common for multiple families to occupy a home built for four people. Desperate homeless people will make their way into boarded up and abandoned structures just to escape the cold frigid weather. Then there's the challenge of getting food boxes and health services to those that are shut in or find themselves with no transportation in outlying communities. Life in remote rural communities like Eagle Butte can be harsh. Yet there is hope, there is pride and there is help. The Mustard Seed is a nonprofit organization that was started in an effort to feed the people and provide temporary shelter from the cold. Today, the Mustard Seed feeds on average over 150 people per meal, with that total reaching over 250 per meal by the month's end. It is difficult to find fresh and healthy food to serve everyone. They have to fight with other organizations to even get day old bread left over from a local fast food restaurant. Some days there simply is just not enough food to serve all the people. On the off days that the mustard seed is closed, the volunteers themselves will buy loaves of bread and peanut butter to go around the community to help feed the people. Currently, the mustard seed serves from an old foam building that is simply inadequate and not hospitable for serving food or housing people. We are looking to the future of designing and building a facility that will allow us to serve hot meals, provide a safe haven during the day, and temporary housing for people at night. The facility will also provide jobs and volunteer positions in the community. The mustard seed relies on donations from the community and churches, yet those donations fall way short. We have the opportunity to help those living in what seems to be a third world country right here in South Dakota. With your support, we can help not to enable, but to empower a community of people to help serve and take care of themselves. Your support can help to feed the hungry and give temporary shelter to those families needing a roof over their head. Your continued support in the future will help us to build a shelter that will benefit the community for future generations.